liver cysts are fluid filled sacs in the liver they affect 15 percent of world population and most of them are benign and does not cause any problem ever but some of them are very serious and require medical treatment that's why we will discuss top five cause of uh, liver cysts and which of them are very serious and which of them are very benign their causes and their treatment first is simple liver cyst it's most common type of cyst it accounts around 70 percent of liver cysts usually they are smaller in size they are solitary it means they are not multiple uh, they are congenital usually it means they are present at birth and what is treatment usually they don't require any treatment and they are very benign in nature they does not cause any symptoms they have no risk of malignancy but if they grow large enough to cause symptoms then surgical removal or aspiration can be solution in this case generally as a rule if cyst is simply simple it's better the simpler the better what means simpler it means thin walls it means fluid inside no complex structures inside no septation no nodules no calcifications inside so the simpler the better that's the general principle of liver cysts and second most common cause is polycystic liver disease it means when multiple uh, cysts are growing in the liver and it's strong genetical condition it's inherited autosomal dominant inheritance it means that if parents has polycystic liver disease child has 50 percent risk to get this disease so it has very strong genetical component it can cause liver enlargement and pain and symptoms and it can compress blood vessels also so it's serious condition and in many cases it is it requires treatment treatment is uh, aspiration of the large cyst or surgical resection sometimes liver resection is also a solution and sometimes rare cases liver transplantation is required and third most common cause is liver echinococcosis liver echinococcosis is parasitic infection this parasite causes this cyst which grows over time slowly and they can cause symptoms they can rupture sometimes and when they rupture they release fluid uh, from inside and this fluid can cause anaphylactic reaction in the body and sometimes it can cause death of the patient that's why liver echinococcosis requires medical attention and medical treatment but it's slow growing parasite and if uh, the cysts are large enough they can cause abdominal pain vomiting nausea because they compress adjacent tissues and they can compress gastric and intestines and they cause these symptoms and what is treatment if they are small then antiparasitic medications like albendazole and mebendazole are effective they can stop growing these parasites but if the cysts are already large then surgical removal or percutaneous aspiration is solution when you remove the cyst um, content from the cyst and the cyst becomes smaller it's solution uh, and how this parasite is spread uh, it spreads when there is poor sanitization for example people when they live near livestock uh, because um, they may it com contaminated foods or water especially commonly it is spread via uh, dog's fecus and if person has indirect contact with a uh, dog fecus that person have increased risk of uh, liver echinococcosis and four is hemangioma liver hemangioma hemangioma is benign vascular growth it blood vessel benign tumor of blood vessels it can 
um, occur anywhere in the body but at this case we're talking uh, inside liver and it's liver hemangioma usually it's very benign it it has no risk of malignancy it has no serious risks and it has no symptoms in most cases and does not cause any important problems but sometimes if they um, grow large enough or if they causes bleeding then surgery and emboliz or embolization is solution and it's uh, very uh, easy to treat such hemangiomas uh, but usually they don't require any treatment and liver cancer also can look like cysts liver cysts but they are not true cysts because they have solid components inside and they are complex structure and most common cancer of liver is hepatocellular carcinoma and hepatocellular carcinoma develops usually after chronic infections like chronic hepatitis b and hepatitis c uh, or chronic alcoholism uh, when we already have fibrosis of liver and cirrhosis and then we have cancer so it's already re very complicated uh, scenario when person already has fibrosis cirrhosis and then cancers and second cancer even rarer cancer is cyst adenocarcinoma which looks like cyst but it has complex structure it has nodules inside and uh, if person has even even benign cyst cyst adenoma for example which has nodules inside then uh, removal of cyst is solution in any case because it has risk of malignancy and risk to become malignant cyst adenocarcinoma that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now